Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video so today I'm back with another Mall Legends video for you guys we're going to be talking about the PvP update that recently dropped although I have made a video on this already this video is going to be a little bit different we're going to talk about the ups and downs what I personally really think about the new PvP system if I like the uh, old one better or if I like this current one better I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know share my thoughts and opinions and um, yeah that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and get into it Alright guys, so the PvP update actually dropped a couple of weeks ago for me. Now, uh, obviously for players that have had this for a while, because remember, this was out for a decent amount of players because it was in beta. Now, those players had access to this um, PvP for a little while, actually, actually for a long time. Uh, that, that I remember probably a couple of months if I'm not mistaken and players like me and a bunch of others obviously still had access to the old pvp so uh, it's different now so basically what I mean by that is when you go over to multiplayer pvp you can notice some differences obviously we have some potions now so obviously you can't really attack unlimitedly we do have potions uh, to where uh, every single time you go ahead and press fight it takes six potions out of the 42 obviously and you're able to use that towards fighting and uh, the team for attack team and defense still looks the same obviously they didn't really do anything different with that uh they left that uh alone if you head over to the leaderboards this might look similar but it's not it really isn't it took me a while to actually understand this as well obviously so take a look at this so we have a legendary three and then uh what i didn't what, what i kind of missed out on was i i overlooked the legendary three part and then what I did was I basically just looked at the leaderboard here. And when I looked at the leaderboard, I'm like, everybody has uh, such a little trophy. I was so used to like thousands and thousands of trophies. But when I saw like the, the amount of trophies these players had, I'm like, what the heck? That's just so little. It, this is so easy to basically compete in, uh, especially when I saw like the top three or top five players now obviously this player might actually have better monsters here oh not at all look at that the defense team and attack team i mean look at them it's 120s 130s and the, you know look at the defense so somehow this player is all the way on top i don't understand how but it's it's kind of funny to me because so this is this would be like a up and uh, like like an up for the new pvp system because the top players they're not as as strong as you think they are right now you can see uh when you are actually going down it's kind of weird the bottom looks better than the top basically some of these players in the uh like what do you call it the top tens and stuff actually have a better actually i wouldn't say this one this one sucks uh, although they are 150s they are corrupted monsters and stuff now it's funny because i just recently attacked somebody uh, i attacked this player and i actually lost uh, this wasn't the defense team by the way this is wrong i did not lose it as uh, but basically, uh, I actually went up against, um, I, I don't think it was this either. It, it was something else that I went up against the three monsters and they like completely wrecked me. Maybe it was these three, but um, I got unlucky and then I, I got wrecked, obviously. And no, this wasn't this wasn't the other one. This would have been an easy one for me. Uh, the only issue with my team right now is that I don't have a monster that will remove negative status effects. I feel like that would be a huge help. I might actually go with Darman. Darman does have some... Uh, you know positives on on you know in there so i might actually use him so we do need to make this monster go first so what i'll do is i'll do maybe two speed and one team strength something like this now taking a look at this here uh we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the speed so it's 30,100 this one's 30,800 so we are barely slower actually we might actually have to run a um speed rune there if not we can actually do like that life with speed right here that i see i think that's uh, oh that's actually life and power that's honestly fine i mean i'll just go ahead and swap out this uh strength one here uh with that other monster and i'll go ahead and give this and then my defense team this monster can get the strength that makes more sense because this monster is obviously uh, a hybrid monster so can attack and can also uh, be a tank and then this is what i need character's horn so character's horn will be in play for sure and that will definitely help me out so definitely uh the speed is uh high enough now darman uh to where i'm actually going to take the first turn before this monster and that'll actually help me out uh, quite a bit but anyways another thing i want to talk about so they kept the reward system the same i'm, I'm not talking about the uh leaderboards i'm actually gonna or leagues sorry 
I'm not I'm gonna actually get into that in a second but the bottom right here you guys can see we still have the tier chests obviously so right now since I'm in the legendary league I'm actually getting tier fives and this is the rewards obviously now they have changed the rewards many times over the course of seasons obviously so right now this is what we have and uh, I personally am whatever I'm like it's, it's whatever you know what I mean it's, it's nothing exciting getting these chests anymore back then at least it was exciting because especially near the beginning of pvp all right so let me not bore you guys let me actually get into a battle and i'm going to talk about that so near the beginning of uh what do you call it when when pvp uh, reward system was introduced um with the eggs right i'm talking about those eggs that we just saw uh those tier eggs it was actually pretty fun because when you were attacking uh you would actually have the chance you'd have you'd have the option to where uh you would be able to what do you call it you could get any of the eggs basically which was pretty cool so that was definitely uh one of the pros back then you can literally get a tier 7 even if you're like in a gold league or a silver league whatever it was so basically those lower league players would actually have the chance to get a tier 7 because it was all based on luck but now it, it it's based off of uh basically the the league that you're in which actually kind of sucks i mean I, I personally really enjoyed it back then i feel like that that was pretty cool the fact that um in the past the the past it was basically all random you'd be able to get something and you don't know what it is obviously because it, it's super random you could be getting something that's really really bad or something that's again tier 7 uh, which was the best uh, back then you know what I mean and you'd be able to get 200 cells for one of the monsters uh, for the current PvP season or a bunch of other rewards that were there you guys remember I'm sure you guys remember if you were playing back then so that's definitely something that um, I don't like anymore uh, it's just not as exciting as it used to be getting those um your eggs oh my gosh i think this oh no he just wrecked me so this is what i was talking about guys this is what i was actually talking about um like i'm, I'm getting wrecked but and like it, it looks like i'm actually gonna win the battle next thing you know that happens and then it's just so unfortunate so yeah right now the current pvp system is kind of weird like uh you would see players like in the top whatever 40 or whatever they would have a decent amount of like they would have some some good teams and then if you take a look at the, like the top fives the top threes it, the, like the profile is, is just no 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 hate to this player like i'm not trying to be like negative in any way but look at this like comparing this to my setup even though i'm like in the top 30s like how is that player in the top three how is that player number one actually not even the top three but number one with 600 trophies like i understand he might be uh, playing actively and then he might have probably gotten lucky uh going up against those random players but then again like it's just not fair you know what i mean um now besides that if we actually talk about the reward system the reward system actually sucks as well if we take a look at this right now in the legendary league uh we're talking about what is this legendary three so legendary three this is the reward system so the top one and ten will get six to ten rune chest you're getting 50 cells for the sponsor and gold relic chats so for you to be able to get the um monster here the, the battle pass monster now uh, obviously you would have to you know place a specific um placement obviously and not just that but also the rune chests have also gotten nerfed uh the there's gold relic chest again um it's whatever i'm not really a huge fan i'd probably throw that in there to like uh craft not craft an obsidian i was gonna say craft an obsidian or maybe like rank up an obsidian or even one of the other ones but you guys can see legendary two and legendary one uh these are basically the rewards and you got to be in the one to top 10 from one to 10 to get eight to tens and if you are in the last place we're talking 41 to 50 you're only getting a thousand gold which sucks so players that are in the t uh, top 50s that that's unfortunate it's like all right whatever screw the top 50 we're gonna basically only reward up to top 40 um the top 40 is getting one eighth of ten you get three golds and 75 cells for that monster and then olympus which again um olympus is actually a bit difficult to get to but if you were to get to olympus uh let's say all right so top 41 to top uh 99,000 are basically getting the rune 10 chest you're getting 75 cells in a gold relic chest or diamond sorry 
<laughs> now in the top one, top one is super hard to get to. If you get top one, this is the reward system. It it is so so bad. Like back then it was a lot better with legendary leader. Legendary leader would be getting like SX rune and you would get um obviously cells and stuff. It it was very, very nice. Um but this is this is the reward system now. There's no more ancestral or relic chests, obviously. We have diamonds. Uh, again, diamonds aren't really that good anymore. Players will most likely throw that in there to craft um, obsidians or the uh, ancestral ones even even better. Nobody really uses diamonds anymore unless you're a beginner player, which is completely fine. But then again, in the competitive scene, nobody uses it. If we take a look at the leaderboard here, uh, these players are probably using diamonds. I won't actually... No, even even this player that's in top one is using these uh, ancestral relics. Like that's how like bad that the diamonds are. Like diamonds, nobody uses them anymore unless you're a beginner, like I said. And that's not to say that um, oh, the diamonds suck and players that use them suck as well. Not really. It's only for beginners because that's all they could get their hands on. You know what I mean? Uh, it's harder to get your hands on the ancestral ones, obviously. So changing the reward system as well that i feel like sucks like I, I feel like they shouldn't have done that I, sh I feel like they shouldn't have actually messed with that but here we are they did uh, unfortunately so there's nothing you can really do about it i guess um i guess you could probably uh send some feedback and ask them to like ask social points and maybe do something about pvp rewards i personally think it could be a lot better but um you know it is what it is i guess now the only uh, another actually uh positive thing that i actually like about this new pvp update which um i really wanted to address and i have done it in the past already because i noticed it when i first played uh, pvp for the first time when i'm talking about the new pvp update uh what i actually noticed is the fact that they actually went ahead and changed um the fact that you're going to be getting uh the same amount of trophies no matter your placement so back then the way it worked was like if you were in the top three let's just say top five or top three you would be getting one sometime three trophies sometimes if you get really lucky you would get like five or ten but very rare but now i've actually tested it I've, I've been in the top three you actually get uh like plus 30 plus 20 whatever so i, I like that part for sure but then again like there, there's there's ups and downs and i honestly I honestly don't know. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about this. Now, I actually want to take a look at the um, beginner league. So beginner league, they're actually giving you the same exact look. It's crazy how the beginner league is getting the same amount of re same reward as what players are actually getting in my league. Like top top 41 to 50 in the um, legendary league is literally getting the same reward even legendary 2 legendary 1 2 the only one that's different the literally the only one that's different is olympus um and the way the uh what you call it the ranking works so basically after three days you see the timer here three days you are only going to be getting reward based off of your league so this will be my reward so if i, if I were to get top 1 to 10 whatever placement it is i'm going to be getting this reward uh, and then obviously you kind of advance, I guess, to the next because um, I'm, I'm still getting used to it. But you guys can see it's not like the old system where it's literally free, free for all. You can attack as much as you want and you can keep climbing up the rank. It's going to take time and uh, you have to basically work towards it. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments down below, honestly. But uh, I personally think there's uh, I, I kind of feel like a 50 50 on this uh, on this update on this PvP update. I like some things about it but then there are things that i don't like so um but i feel like there's room for improvements for sure i'm gonna go ahead and uh, heal up here give some stamina that monster's gonna get a turn in and just wreck me that's completely fine so unfortunately i don't have any damage boost i don't know if i'll be able to actually one shot here i really want to one shot this monster um actually if i were to attack this and if it does land hopefully it does those tortures should be enough to actually eliminate the monster there we go well played right so they're dead uh the monster gets in a turn but now i think she is gonna get a turn so that's gonna suck yeah that's the only uh thing that's actually gonna suck there um and she gets her awakening great all right and i do have that countdown so i gotta be careful um now i can actually attack her or i can let it bleed so let me attack the re resurrector first eliminate him now he might actually come back oh no he didn't that's completely fine he's gonna attack the other one's gonna die to bleeding hopefully there we go and there goes that um uh what do you call it 
the talent that I had on this monster character's horn coming in play. See, I told you that was gonna that was definitely coming gonna come in handy. Now he's completely dead, gonna come back and eliminate my monster, but that's completely fine because he's gonna come back. And even if he didn't, I would have been fine. I'll go ahead and heal and give some stamina, and then there it goes. GG's wrecked. Uh, go back to the lobby. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. So we're over 100 trophies now. I'm actually in the top 30 second. Again, I'm only going to be getting 1,000 gold, which, uh, you know, it is what it is. I guess you just got to deal with it. But I'm pretty sure players, every player uh, in the ranking will be getting 1,000 gold from uh, all the way beginner, all the way down to legendary league. So everybody is going to be getting 1,000 gold if you're in the top 40 or 41 to 50. Now, obviously, it does, I think, range... Oh no, it's all 41 to 50. That's a really unlucky number. If you're like in between that, man, <laughs> you're just going to be getting a thousand gold and, and you can do something with that thousand gold. I don't know, but it's so easy to make a thousand gold. So I don't know why they actually like even um, have that as a reward. Even even a beginner that's like a level 10 could make a thousand gold in like n not even an hour, probably like in 20 minutes or something, not even probably less. Um, it, it's really quick to make a thousand gold. So I don't know why that's a reward um but again it is what it is uh what, what do we have in the current treasure cave we have centaurus i got I 10 gems on the gold um challenge anyways guys it's gonna wrap it up let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions like i said um but that's gonna be pretty much it thank you all so much for watching i'll see you next one peace out